Hello, welcome back to our mini-sode. This is Penny Sansbury and Amy Cornell, and this is the Book Marketing Tips and Author Success Podcast. And today we are talking about something very seasonal. Will your book fit in Santa's bag? Amy, do you want to, because this was kind of your show idea, do you want to run with this? Yeah, and you know, we, this is a good reminder. If you didn't hear our full-length episode on pitching gift guides, this is a good reminder to make sure you go back and listen to that because while it is seasonally appropriate, we cover a lot for using gift guides year round. So you don't want to miss that one. But we thought this is a good time to remind people because gift guides are important. Everybody wants to capitalize on the gift buying season that is Christmas and the holidays and things like that. And we just wanted to remind you that you need to be really realistic and strategic about how your book fits in, especially with the Christmas season. You know, everybody would love to see their book gifted at Christmas, but we're here to tell you that if you plan on making a gift guide or pitching gift guides, you really have to make sure that your book is one of those slam dunk, everybody would agree that this could be a fabulous gift for a lot of different people or for a broad market. Obviously children's books fit in here very well, Uh, cookbooks, You know, general, there's a lot of things to do, but you know, the reason this also came up, Penny, is that we um, were talking to an author recently that has a really cool book, but it's in a very niche business type market. And she really wanted to pitch it for the holidays. And it was one of those things where we're like, you know, this is really not, people will not make that connection, if that makes sense, you know? Yeah. Like people have to instantly make the connection with, oh, Yes, this book, I know like three people I could give this to. Like you really want to hit the nail on the head with these gift ideas. So if you want to pitch for the Christmas holidays, make sure that you're very smart and very strategic about why your book makes sense for Christmas before you start putting a lot of time and effort into slamming out all these pitches. Because we've mentioned this on a lot of our media um, episodes, Penny, that once you make that connection, you know what I mean? That's the first impression you have with that that media entity, that outlet, that blogger, whoever that is. So you really want to be smart about not just throwing your book out there to anybody and everybody you can get an email address for, right? Yeah, that's absolutely true. And I think that one of the things that you mentioned early on, which was so smart, make the connection for them. Because it's not that, and we're not, the implication here is not that people are stupid. People, people are busy, right? Yeah. People are busy and you really have to help them to connect the dots. And I say this, whether you're doing, you know, gift pitching for gift guides or whether you're pitching for a story in the media, especially, you have to, you know, help them do the math as it were, um, help them understand how this is going to be right for them. That's so true. Yes, that is 100% necessary. And you know, take it another step. If you plan on pitching gift guides and you feel that, yes, my book works. This is a legit holiday recommendation. People will understand this. You want to support what you're doing by also, you know, supporting it on your social, in your newsletter. Start doing social posts that remind people that your book is a great gift guide, or I mean, excuse me, a great Christmas gift or holiday gift because as you're pitching these people, if they go, they are going to go check out your website and your social. I, I assure you of that. And if you're already getting the word out and showing them that you're behind this, that just adds I, so much to your level of professionalism and how easy it is for them to go, okay, they're on top of it. They figured it out. I, I'm going to say yes to this. I want them to send me a copy of their book. Yeah, absolutely. The more homework that you can do, and the better you can create that presentation, um, the faster that you will get into Santa's gift bag. Thank you again so much for tuning in. This is Penny Sansevieri and Amy Cornell, and we hope that you're enjoying these mini-sodes. We welcome your ideas and your feedback on the shows, and we also welcome um, reviews wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.